Hi, my name is Alexa. I have been on a decluttering journey. I shared an apartment with my late mother who passed away last year at the age of 55 of cancer. I never thought I would be in this position. If you are in a similar journey, you can look at this and see that things do change. They remain difficult and they get better. And without further ado, let me share my apartment with you. This is not an aesthetic condo. I have done my best to remain on a low buy during all this time. I haven't been like upgrading furniture or anything like that. This is just very raw. This is what, <laughs> this is what things look like, essentially. This is my entrance and I have a closet. It ends here, even though it looks like it goes all the way down there. There's a vent, which is that annoying noise, and that is the extent of that. In that container right there, I have purses that I probably need to declutter, my vacuum, the box for my air conditioner, and a mix of jackets that were mine or mom's. I did declutter a lot of hers and give some of hers away to friends and donated. I have a box of non-clothing items that I want to donate, minus the grocery bag. I kind of just throw that on top so that I'm not looking in. And I still have that printer that I need to get rid of. There's some things in here, elect old electronics mostly. And I used to have a shoe rack here. I don't like that. I just keep the ones that I use the most right now. The mat could use a little bit of cleaning because it's got some salt stains from the winter time, I guess. Then we have the laundry. This area is a bit the bane of my existence. I've got my recycling bin. I have that out because I want to mop really soon because my floors are really bad. And then there's just so much stuff here. This is one of the areas that I very much want to declutter. There's just copious amounts of restock items like mop heads and there's a whole box for shoe shine stuff laundry things detergents um like there's just so much stuff here that i know i'm probably never going to use so that is probably going to be a whole video in itself some things i need to wash with some bins i use for replanting um this detergent's almost done yeah it's just n'importe quoi in here and when you come in it looks like this yes i know it looks like i've got hospital floors or something which is why i've got area rugs i hate this floor so much it's linoleum it's terrible and it stains easily and i'm constantly trying to wash them but you know what the rent is cheap all my appliances are 20 years old I've had them since we moved into this area. This tray constantly gets cleaned out, but I basically have things that I want to use on the go, like hand cream or lip chaps, and change. Of course, change or a nail file. You never know when you need those. Even though this kitchen is small, there is so much storage, including this pantry, which is the first thing. I've got some spare grocery bags, which I should probably declutter. Onions and garlic, sugar. Lower down, I don't know, there's some recipes my mom kept that I never really removed. Baking things, including nuts, rice and things. I've been trying to pan this part of my pantry, like do a pantry use up essentially. Spare containers, which I could probably go through, but whatever. Next to that, I know I 100% have to declutter this. This is cleaning supplies or extra soap bottle things and I've just shoved things in there. It's been not great. I've got so many chopsticks, but I actually use them for planting. This is just all like plastic cutlery, things like that, disposable stuff, which I'm just using up slowly without replacing. On the side of my stove, I've got a slot for baking sheets and cutting boards. And I've got this guy, which I just put Ziplocs and random things like crazy glue. Of course we have the spices. I actually decluttered these in a different video. These are repacking supplies. Again, I probably have to declutter this because I think there's too much stuff that I won't ever end up using. I love me a lazy Susan. See, like I don't need these dozens of David's tea containers. Another lazy Susan for salt pepper. I've got my couple of cooking oils here in my favorite oil dispensers from Canadian Tire. Some knives, some things, so many fruit. It's getting really crazy in here. I have a lot of spare bottles and things. Had a little wine last night. It 
excuse me, the medicine cabinet I went through with you guys and I'm quite happy with how that is right now. It's good. Mixing bowls and salad stuff, that's fine. The salad spinner goes there when it's dry. Glasses, shot glasses, cups, I need to declutter. Pretty sure that mugs and things are an area that a lot of people need to declutter. I don't use the majority of these glasses. Yeah, and a frotter that I don't use often. These are my most used Tupperware. And then more random mugs that are more seasonal. This is basically the coffee station and like the breakfast section. I keep oats, some muffins I made, peanut butter, random things like that here. At the very top, paper towels popsicle makers, a sushi kit, and random decor I'm never gonna put up again, I think. It's from Honduras, but it's just not my jam right now. If we go down, appliances, a popcorn maker, and a food processor, and then so much Tupperware I never use. This here is the corner of shame. There's spare PR in here, just cause it's like a deep area that I can't really reach. And then there's a couple of extra textiles in there that I need to go through again. It's spare curtains and things that I probably really don't need. Next, I've got more spare cookware, ice cube trays, pots, pans, my kettle that I actually use every day, my um, Vitamix, which I love. This is where I keep my kitchen garbage and spare cleaning supplies. I keep egg cartons and flyers for my compost. Just down there, there's a box full of really old and kind of not great repair supplies. Oh man, I need to go through all of this. I've got utensils. This definitely needs a clear out, but having this little bin here has really helped things. Whenever, whatever I need is usually up here, and the stuff I don't really use often is all back there that I have to go through. Then, um, more cooking supplies. And then I've got kitchen cloths and spare, I don't know why my mom, my mom used to buy so much of this stuff, so now I have overstock. I know I'll use it, but anyway. Then I've got, this is a free-for-all. There's more paper towel. Why are they not all together in the same place? Whatever. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Like there are appliances that I don't use as often. There's a little alcohol section. I don't drink too much at home, despite the wine from last night. It, it, these are mostly like mixers that have just been left behind. For easy access, I keep pots and pans on this from Ikea comes in a lot of different colors. This also helped a lot while my mom had cancer because we used to keep the uh, pots and pans lower down there, but she was having trouble bending over because of like, you know, treatments and all that and reduced mobility. I'm cool with the way that I organized everything to accommodate her illness to make things as reachable as possible, or rather the things you use the most often should be most accessible so that you're not like bending over all the time, but I definitely need to declutter. And yes, I need to do my dishes too, thank you. Moving on from the kitchen, we have the living room. So that's kind of like my home office area, the living room and I watch TV here, and then I have my little plant area. That's why it's so bright here. Where else would I put the plants, right? I also have this little spot, and yeah, ideally I would put some of the essential oils here, and then I have to declutter quite a few of those bins, so we'll see what happens. There's photo albums in there and things. I'll keep the photo albums, obviously. This is my makeup table, right? Crazy. It just fits well under the TV and I can roll it around and I'm going through my nail polish collection to declutter. My workout stuff, more plants and some plants on the windowsill. It's too bright. Um, here are my plants. Here I've left that because I need to wrap and cut this guy down because he's growing up crooked. I've got a picture of my mom. And then in here I have wrapping paper for Christmas and holidays and things for gift wrapping because I don't go in here very often. All right, the view of the other side of the room. This area looks a little bit more sane when I'm not on my lunch break. Seriously, it's a bit crazy right now. Sorry. Are empty and or just full of 
camera stuff. I've got my lipstick collection for my lipstick video, PR, and items that I need to go through before I declutter. Chaos, you guys, absolute chaos. I need to go through this. One of my last videos shows me going through the bottom half of this bookshelf, which houses all of my PR samples. I'm very happy with how that ended up. You can check out that video. It'll be linked in the cards if you're watching this on YouTube. My bathroom is pretty darn uneventful, but I like my carpet. It's a Monstera carpet, yay. I have a little candle and products that I've been trying to pan. My medicine cabinet is just products. There's a video where I decluttered under the sink in the bathroom, but I need to do it again, I think, because it's a little bit disorderly in here. And here are the products that I keep in my shower. Minimizing what I keep in the shower just really diminishes decision fatigue and makes cleaning so much easier. Towels, bathrobe. Beside my bathroom, I have a linen closet, and you have seen me do the declutter of this in a video. It's actually one of my better performing decluttering videos. Moving on to my bedroom, I have changed a lot of things in here. Um, obviously, I changed the bedding. It's almost summer. It's uh, We're mid-June right now, the time of me filming this. I switched dressers with my mom's old dresser because I like that there isn't a mirror in here and it's less distracting. Don't mind the chair of clothes that need to be put away. There used to be an ottoman here. When you have a smaller surface for clutter, you tend to clutter a little bit less, or at least that's how I feel. I use the back of my door for bag storage. I've got my closet. In part one of my closet declutter, I ended up bringing the shoe rack that was at the entrance to my closet to keep my shoes in their respective boxes. That way they don't collect so much dust. I switched out to my summer clothes. I need to curate my wardrobe though. Up there are a couple of winter shoes. Winter blankets, winter duvet, and a sewing machine that you can't see because it's in the corner. For my nightstand, I'm using the Alex 6 drawer and <laughs> I need to clean it out. There are pretty standard things like lip chap and moisturizer, a pen, some notebooks, my old phone and a pen. But the space itself is definitely not optimized and there's a lot of random things in here like perfume samples, like what's going on? I keep a couple of books and normally a hair clip and my water bottle for when I get thirsty at night. The ottoman that used to live in front of my headboard, sorry about all of the cat scratch on the corner. This ottoman houses bags some props for videos. It's a bit of a free-for-all in here and um, I need to go through it and declutter. But for now, it's handy because if I'm not using pillows on my bed, I just throw them here. Or if my boyfriend comes over and he wants to put some stuff, he can use this rather than my dresser, which just keeps the room looking a little bit more tidy. One thing I do need to do again is actually go through my dresser drawers. There will definitely be two dresser declutters in a future closet declutter video. That was a bit redundant, but yeah. I always like to keep spare perfumes and creams and things in my room because sometimes I get too lazy to go back into the bathroom and I just have so much, so might as well use two at a time. Double fist. Next to my room, is mom's old room. Yeah, I've been using this room to declutter clothing. I also use this room to house the plants, obviously because I have a massive window here, which just makes it so much easier. Here are the clothes I'm still working on decluttering. This desk is empty right now. There's more bins here. If you saw already, you will know that this is where I keep my makeup collection that I still need to declutter. Yeah, this closet has been relegated to sort of a storage area. This is my previous dresser. I've got some winter clothes in this bag. And it's handy to have this mirror. The back of the door has a mix of things. Mom's and mine. I guess technically everything is mine now, but... But again, this is another dresser that is just it really needs 
some TLC right now. There is a declutter video coming up, so definitely stay tuned because some things have changed, like my little propagation station. I think I'm gonna do a plant tour as well. Definitely subscribe if you are into declutters because I post a lot of those things. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.